Hi, I'm John Budden with Shutter Priority Imaging Center. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you how to make a shoebox camera or pinhole camera normally called. What we're going to need is of course we're going to need uh, like a black and white paper, paper, you know, uh, regular processing paper. Um, of course you can't expose this to light. We're just doing this during the daylight process so we can see what's going on. You need a shoe box that's kind of light tight. The best kind of shoe boxes are probably the ones that have the removable lid, not the ones that have the flap lids. Um, what you're going to do is if, if they do the flap lid, we're going to have to actually get some kind of a tape, like black duct tape works pretty good to seal all your corners, any place where light would show out. We're going to use a little bit of masking tape. We're going to have to have a, we're going to need a little bit of aluminum foil. Um, I, duct tape is a really cool thing to have too around. So mask tape can work, but duct tape is probably better. And the black seems to be less likely for light to come through. The first thing we're going to be doing with a shoe box is the idea is we have to build a pinhole in order for the light to come through. And the idea is it's not too critical. We want it big enough to where we can actually poke, poke the hole through. Once the hole's through, and then we'll make it nice, nice and big here, so that way we can make sure we got our, a good hole in here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install what we call our pinhole. And our pinhole is, is uh, I made it out of duct tape with back with aluminum foil. This way it's, it's guaranteed to be pretty much light tight. We're going to center this part of the hole where I poked the hole through the duct tape right over the hole we just poked. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tape this in place as such. And you want to keep it as flat as you can. Once it's in in place, what we're going to do is we're going to take a very sharp instrument and we're going to gently poke a hole through the aluminum foil, just big enough to make a little bit of a pinhole. And that is actually our lens now. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to make a shutter. The shutter I made out of duct tape, and here again I use a little bit of aluminum foil to ensure that light will not be able to get through. And we're going to install this shutter right over this pinhole as such. And then we're going to make sure it stays taped down nice and tight. Okay, so now our shutter is installed. The next process that we're going to do is we're going to actually have to load the camera with film. What we're going to do now is opposite side where we put our pinhole, we're going to put a piece of paper here. Here again, I remind you that this has to be done in total darkness. What we're going to do is we're, we're taping our paper in place as such. You want to make sure it's nice and flat. Then once the paper's in place, we're going to go ahead and close our lid. Once the lid is closed, we are going to come in and we are going to go ahead and tape all the way around the box. Tape all the way around the box here so we keep it nice and light tight. Now that your box camera is built and loaded, ready to take pictures, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to expose your uh, camera. What you're going to do is you're going to hold your box very stable. Probably recommend that you put it on a table or something because the shutter speed is going to be around 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, what we're going to do here is all you do to expose is point your box wherever you're going to want to take a picture of you're going to grab this tab and you're going to lift this op open like this. This opens your shutter. Once it's open for 10 to 15 seconds, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to close your shutter. At this point, your camera has exposed your film. So the next step would be go into a total darkness room, open up, take the paper out, and then go ahead and process your paper. And that's how you make a pinhole camera.